Hello everybody, today we've got the new arrival in the form of a 2 litre TFSI VW Scirocco R finished in a mineral grey metallic. Now this is now slouch, 276 brake horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of around 6 seconds. Not bad really, I mean a Scirocco they're not known for performance but this one is quite surprising. A few more of the features, so you've got the Bison on headlights with the LED daytime runners. You've got your gloss black grill here and just moving on down here. The black and gray really does complement each other quite nicely and it is a really nice striking car. You've got the Cadiz alloys here and of course you've got the R styling. So you do have flared side skirts, a rear lip spoiler and obviously the front bumper is a little bit different to the rounded shape of the generic model. Here you've got the aluminium type effect of the door mirrors with a built-in indicator and you've got black window surround just in a, and you've got black window surround. These are window rubbers, not dechromed, so it won't chip or flake off. And you've also got tinted privacy glass on the rear. As you can see, lip spoiler with integrated boot light. Now the best thing, now the best part about any Scirocco is of course the big wide booty. Look at that. It's an incredible looking stance car from stock. They, they just look cool. There's something about them that draws you in. Could be the humongous dual exhaust system, which do give out a really nice note on the 2 litre petrol engine. Moving on to the boot, which is operated via the key. There we go. It's quite spacious for what you'd expect for a Scirocco. It's not very long, but it is quite deep. I mean, you're not going to get everything in there, but the essentials and push chairs and small things for children with ease. You've also got here, LED rear lights. And there we go, just a side aspect. A really nice, striking, different car to what you see on the roads commonly. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but this also does have the R Sport Suspension and an R branded brake caliper, which just allows a bit more capability and handling when on the road. And it also benefits from the XDS electronic diff. Now, that's enough for the outside. We'll take a look at what the Scirocco has got to offer on the interior. So, as you can see, the Scirocco is actually a really, really nice place to be as a driver or a passenger. I've actually owned one of these myself and it was probably one of the most comfortable, practical cars I've owned. It's luxurious, yet you have the performance base. Obviously, as you can see, you've got the gauges at the top which measures oil, boost and turbo. Just a nice little reminder that this is a performance car at heart. You've got the contrast white stitching, flat-bottomed, multifunction steering wheel. You've also got automatic headlights and you've got heated mirrors which are electrically adjustable and you have the ability to deadlock the doors and you have electronic windows just on the front here. Part of the styling pack, you have stainless steel pedals and you have the R embossed door inlay just here. Now the seats in the Scirocco, as I've said, are really comfortable, really smartly designed and practical for long distances as well as short bursts of speed. R embossed, black leather, white contrast stitching. No wear on the bolster. And moving in, this does also have DCC, a highly sought after option, dynamic chassis control. Manual gearbox, you have traction control off, comfort and sport for the suspension, and you have the parking sensor button there. Moving on, the gauges, as mentioned, turbo, boost, and the oil. You have a media unit just here. This is your touchscreen unit, which enables you to have sat-nav, radio, Bluetooth, media, phone. Voice control isn't activated on this. You would need to speak to your VW dealer just to install and activate that. Finally, you've also got traffic and menu where you can set up certain characteristics of the car. Moving down, you've got heated seats and air conditioning, which need no introduction. And onto the wheel itself. You do have the volume controls here for your stereo and media system. And you also here have the menu option for your instrument cluster. Now, we'll turn on the ignition to this car. 
and we'll be able just to see what the instrument cluster looks like up close. Now, there we go. So, on the menu itself, you do have a range of options of which you can choose. This is on trip, miles, miles left in the tank, travel time, consumption, average consumption, and the range. You can also go across Bluetooth audio, navigation. This isn't to be confused with virtual cockpit. That will strictly just tell you the name of the street that you're on and offer directions when using the sat-nav. Bluetooth telephone, and corner lighting systems and here you have further settings of which you can adjust but we're not going to go through them all too much now and onto the media unit nice big and now on to, now onto the media unit so nice easy high contrast screen really easy to use really simple to see not distracting it's just efficient it's german it's built to do a purpose and it does it well now to use this, you simply click on the buttons and you can go on any of the last destinations which aren't loaded up. Or you can do new destination and so on and so forth. Everything is touch screen and as you can see, as always, there's traffic on the A5. On the menu, you've got quite a few options here. We'll start from the start. Radio, media, telephone, navigation, traffic, app connect, car net, images sound and further setup as you can see this is just small ways that you can really make the car your own so you're probably wondering if you stumbled here what a two liter tfsi shirocco r feels like to drive simply put it's brilliant it's comfortable it's got the german build quality you'd expect from vw the steering wheel's nice, flat bottom. You've got a real nice performance base feel to this car. Uh, I mean, it feels a little bit different to a Golf, whereas a Golf feels more practical. This feels a bit more planted to the road, a little bit more track-based, if that makes sense. Just nice. I mean, you get decent fuel consumption, low running cost, really, depending on how heavy your right foot is. Nice, smooth manual gearbox, as you can see. No judder know anything doesn't rev too high really nice this Scirocco does benefit from having the DCC as well a massive extra that most VWs aren't able to have so what other features have we got we've got a turbo gauge we've got a clock and we've got an oil temperature gauge there we've got blowers we've got a nice 6.6 .6 inch media system touch screen it's high resolution it's it's just nice it's like it's just creature comforts when you're buying a VW, you kind of already know what you're getting. Same as any of the other big manufacturers. The VAG Group, however, really are probably the best out of the three. Just for reliability, build quality and value for money. This DAB, Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming, satellite navigation, media streaming, voice control. But you'd have to activate that at your main dealer. You've got traffic updates, you've got CD, you've got air conditioning. I mean, it, the list just goes on and on. Parking sensors. And after all that, it's a really stylish looking car. The seats are comfortable. The back seats actually look a lot better than the front seats, in my opinion. Why they didn't continue that on, I don't know. But it's a really nice car. And to be honest, it goes really well as well. What we're going to do now, we're just going to get to 60 release the wheel just to prove that the car's driving straight and true and that there's no judder no knocks no bangs or no need for tracking so at the minute we're at 30 60 and there you go if i leave that oh just following the camera of the road and there you go the car drives straight true and no problem we're going to come down the gears slowly now and as you can hear no high revs no judder no delay, no scraping. It's just a really nice, clean VW Scirocco R. I actually prefer these over the Golf R, but that might be that I had a Scirocco when I was a bit younger and it got taken away off me far too soon. The choice of being a dad. But, like I said, the performance aspect now, it's called an R for a reason, and this is why.
as you can see, doesn't hang about. A lot of people argue that manuals aren't as easy to drive as DSG. I beg to differ. Manual gearbox allows the driver to be in complete control of both the performance, the handling, and the safety of everybody in the car. For me, a manual gearbox isn't a bad thing. It's not a downgrade. Yes, it's not as tunable as a DSG, but to be honest, this packs as much as a punch naturally. I don't really think you'd need to tune it. Now, aside from performance, if you are looking for that little bit more reassurance and a little bit more confidence when buying, ourselves at Emerald understand this is a difficult time for everybody buying a car. What we're doing, and what we've always done, to be honest, is we give every car a 128-point check prior to being retailed. It just allows you to know a little bit further that the car's been fully inspected by an RAC-approved garage, and it just ideally means that there'd be no maintenance for the foreseeable future as a new owner. Everybody wants peace of mind, and buying a car is possibly the second biggest purchase you can do in your lifetime behind a house. So, we understand that. We want you to be part of our family. Right now, we're going to take this Scirocco R back home to our house of cars, and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.